Hi, this is recording for CO241 and um, after the first assignment you now should have the Acquia Dev Desktop Control Panel program and when you click on go to my site you should see the welcome homepage for my Acquia Drupal site. This uh, control panel is the program that allows the database and the web server to run. So when you stop the control panel, your website will no longer respond. So whenever you do the assignments uh, and uh, homework, uh, you have to have this program, the control panel, running. The green lights indicate that uh, the uh, component is operational so we have the web server and then the database uh, that are both part of the control panel now the settings button is fairly important to us right now I'd like to take a look at the ports tab the ports tab help you to remember what it is that you typed in during installation so port 80 is the default port for uh, web servers so that if you are using port 80 you do not have to specify it in the URL. Uh, as you can see on their sites port 80 is the default port if you include it the browser will automatically hide it. And then we have the database port. So that's how you can look up what are your ports. It's under the settings button and uh, the, the ports tab. Excellent. So if you just click on go to my site, your site will come up. Otherwise, if you type in http colon slash slash localhost, you're in either in Firefox or in Explorer, uh, your website will also come up. So this is the welcome page for Drupal Acquia. And actually, uh, I am uh, logged in already, but uh, your website, when it first comes up, it'll ask you for username and password. and this is the account that you created during installation of uh, the dev desktop. If you cannot log in, if you forgot the uh, credentials, then make sure to uninstall the control panel uh, by going to start control panel and remove programs and then reinstall the dev desktop uh, by following assignment one. And uh, during the installation process, you provide the username and password. So in my instance here, the, the username is administrator. And when I log in with the password I provided, I'm successfully logged in. So for most of the assignments that are in our textbook, uh, you will not be creating content inside of Drupal. To create a new content, you will navigate to the directory where your site is installed then with uh, an editor like notepad or notepad plus plus you will create a new document make sure that the extension on your document is dot php okay so the extension has to be dot php and then as you go to edit this document, again with your favorite um, editor, uh, and in this instance I will just use Notepad, you can start typing in PHP code. So here I will just go ahead and uh, create a quick PHP page. So we have a text editor, we have code that we type in, and then we make sure to save this file into the directory where again during installation of the Acquia Dev Desktop we placed the website. Okay, I'll go ahead and say save. Now that the page is in my site directory, I can go back to the browser and after the expression localhost, I can say test.php and this will generate the exact uh, output as my page instructs it to do so.
So we're going to write custom PHP pages and we'll execute those pages through the Acquia control panel. Okay. I also uh, created CO241 directory and so this just helps me to keep all my uh, pages in one place. To reference those pages you simply provide the directory CO241 and then whatever page.php that you're working on. But if you would like to learn more about Drupal and uh, you would like to see how content is created with Drupal, well, you can simply click on Find Content. This will bring out the current content. And after the installation of the Dev Desktop, you should only have one content element. You can press Edit and you can change both the summary and the body. Now, the way Drupal works, when you promote a content element to the front page, then the summary of it displays. So here I would say, welcome to my CO241 Drupal page. And, um, uh, and this actually is the element that will show on the home page. So I can scroll down, I can say save. And now if I navigate to localhost, I can see the new content that I created. And then as you navigate to the actual element, that's when the body shows. So those are some uh, behaviors of uh, the Drupal content management system. But basically, once you have Drupal working, you do not have to use PHP, you do not have to use even HTML, but you put together content in terms of text and uh, pages together, menus are created automatically, your website uh, lives its own life. So what we're interested in this class in doing is figuring out how Drupal works on the inside, how the database is organized, and most of all, how PHP pages are executed, how that code works. Well, hopefully this was helpful as far as establishing how future labs will be working and uh, how to use the Acquia control panel to run custom PHP pages. Thank you.